Ooh, she dead. Hello, welcome back. It's Proko here again playing some more Minecraft Bedrock on our survival realm. And as you can see, we're in a killing chamber for the witches. Um, I have done a bit of work and I've dug out this lovely room. Because obviously our storage solution is not the best. So what I've done is I've dug the room out, i put this glass tube in just purely so you can watch them coming down. Um, and I have put in a load of chests ready for stuff to go into, as you can see. Um, got the six main drops that come from this thing. So you've got the, we're going to have the redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, we've got the glass balls, the sugar and the sticks. Um, the three at the end, so glass bottles, sugar and sticks. I will keep three at the most, and then we'll probably have some kind of, I don't know, burner at the back here. But what I have done is I have gone ahead and built the item filter for it, which is a relatively simple thing to do. I have just noticed that I have, have forgotten about redstone on that one. Um, but yeah, it's a fairly simple thing. Um, what I might just do just now is jump into a creative world, a creative world, um, into a testing world for you, and we'll just show you the basics of how all of this works. Um, it's pretty simple, and it's obviously it's stackable. So we'll jump over there, and I will be back here in a minute. Okay, so we're over in the creative testing world now, and um, we're going to have a look at how this item sorter works. So first things first, I'm going to plop down some chests here, and then we will firstly oh, go and run hoppers so that they're going into the three of them. And then what we want to do is put a block here. Nope. Block on here. So you're just crouch placing that. And then another block there. And into this block we want to face the hopper the opposite way from the other two or the other three even. So that these ones are pointing into the chest and the top one's pointing into this block. And all we need is another block underneath that one like this so and then you're going to want to run a comparator out of that block so we're reading what's in this hopper through this block and then what I usually do now is I use glass from here and we want a bit there and we'll put a temporary block there plop that out and then you need your redstone down like that which is great from bedrock because the glass doesn't stop your your um, what do you might call it redstone flow. Uh, a couple of temporary blocks like so, and put your paste in facing that way. You can face the piston whatever way you like. You can also, as you saw in mine, if you've got more than one, you can just plonk them like that. The important thing is that at the end of the piston line you've got some obsidian just to stop that piston firing. I mean you can leave it without one as long as there's nothing here you can have the piston firing but it doesn't mean you can't stack it beside it and it's really noisy because that thing's firing in and out. And then onto the piston you want to put your redstone torch that's what locks these hoppers and stops anything coming through there. Now what I will do is I think I'll run a put in a temporary hopper line just to simulate you know items going in so this could be in our case there's a water stream coming across to feed into the top or you can have you know a chest that you just dump stuff into or whatever um, but anyway so now what we need to do is open up this chest I do need more blocks, so we'll just take a stack of those. There we go. So if we want to say filter our slime balls, I don't need to fall off. 
slime balls. So what you actually want to do with this filter I've found is what you want to do is have four stacks of 11 items. You can see that the slime balls are going down when I put this one in. So it should go down and leave one in the hopper. Now you could just fill these with one item each, but you would end up with 42 slime balls there, which is kind of a waste, you know, if you're wanting your farm, you want to get the most of them out, so you can see there's four there. Um, so if you put 11 in this hopper, the one that's being read from the comparator, put 11 just junk items, so these ones you're wanting something that'll never go through your system. Um, what your best bet is probably going to be, as you saw in mine, is to rename them something else, and that will help you. And then one of whatever you're wanting this, this column of chest to have in it. Okay, so let's give it a test. We'll chuck some stuff into the chest here. So let's some fence balls, some rock flesh, we'll put slime balls, and some cobblestone stairs in. And what we should see is the item slowly filtering past. Or going past. And if we watch here, when it gets to the slime balls, you should see that flash. One, two, three, four. And there we go, four slime balls are there, and everything else will be here. Now, this design is completely, you can tile it, so if we, what we'll do is we'll just get picking some of these blocks. There we go. So what you can do is, like I said, you could put another piston in there, block it off the obsidian. And then all you're doing is extending this out, like so. I mean, we don't even you don't even need a full row of chest. You can just have one like that. Doesn't even need to be a double chest. You could use a barrel as well if you were wanting to. Key thing is that. The, you have a one hopper leading into the block and the, anything below it runs into the storage system. So then all we need to do is go around the back here and we'll set the system up again. So I need more end stone, which is right there. So what we'll do and say we want to fill our uh, nether brick fences. So what we'll do, we will plonk and something, I forgot the torch, uh, that would be a problem. So as you can see the torch does actually do its job. And that should see the nether brick fence stop at one. So we'll just give it a second to filter down through. And it should Yep, yeah, there we go. Stopped at one, so we'll, we'll take out that. And we'll grab some all the other things that we left at that chest. So now you know what? We'll take the slime balls to it. Where did all that go? Now that's more than likely because I was trying to do it without... Um, because I activated it without that torch in, and so it sent a red zone signal through and unlocked it. So, okay, so now we have done all that, let's uh, chuck in that, 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 um, maybe a few of them as well, just to sort it out, and we should see, yep, another bricks come through, so, there's the four slime balls, the 22 fences, and the rest of the stuff's in there.
so it's a pretty simple affair. Um, it's stackable, you can change, I mean you can do this with any stackable item, all you really need to do is put what you want in there and slowly fill that up one by one, make sure the four slots are filled but then just drop my extra ones in until there's only one of that item left, so you can do it with things that stack to 64 or to 16, but I'll go swing around here just so you get another shot of what it looks like. Hello, Mr. Wonder Trader. So that's that. So we'll jump back over onto the realm again and get that finished up. So, oh, welcome back. So, as you can see, I'm just sorting out the filters. Um, need to jump down and get the last bits. Um, so, I need sticks. Right, glass bottles, the sugar, the spider's eyes, I don't think I'm going to keep any of them right now. Um, I mean, I might actually, you know what, because the sugar is near enough useless. But the spider's eyes can be used in potions, so we'll keep them and we'll just plop it sugar, which I probably just picked up again. But anyway, so we'll run around here. And we'll get back up on top and I'll show you the filters on these things. So, what I'm thinking, I'm probably going to want to have, right now gunpowder is here. But I think what I'll do is I'll take it out. So as you can see, I've got the 11 items on each slot. So what we'll do is we'll just empty these because these were just for me to test it. So what I think I'll do is I'll have the garbage items at the start. So that should go down, yep. Yeah. And we'll stick those in there. That's not got a full set in it. Right, I need to get some more filters. I'll come back to that in a minute. That one's empty in itself as well. Ooh, so they may have a problem here. Um, what we'll do is I'll throw the gunpowder there. The reason I'm putting the gunpowder at the end is in case I want to add in another another one. Um, that must be spitting redstone signals across. Because it's killing it, so... problem with this. Ah, uh, right, okay. So guys, I worked out what the problem was. Because I was dumping them into that, that was giving a stronger uh, output to the back, which was actually firing up the circuits on either side, but that's never going to happen because you need this line extra on the top, so that when you put it in here, it feeds through one at a time, drops into these one at a time, so that gives this circuit time to react and uh, fill your stuff through. So do not feed directly into the one that the comparator is coming off of. Have an extra line across the top that's carrying your items through. That will stop you having any issues with this system. So now what I need to now do is get the items from down there up to up here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to just build a very simple item elevator down here. But what I do need to do is chop this out. I think we'll just plonk it there just now. And dump all the stuff, not the shears. Just dump everything that was in it into there. I may run it all into the system later. So 
So once I've got all this stuff moved, I will jump back and we'll get started building the item elevator. It should be good fun. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now we've got it all cleared out, what I'm going to do is have a water elevator here. Um, which means I need a dropper which I can connect up a hopper like that. And we should see items feeding in. We do. So what I need to do is come back here. Which is rather annoying because I've built a chest in the way full of stuff. And oh, okay, so never mind. We'll just ignore some of that. I think we will. Yeah, we'll just ignore it. So what we need to do is we're going to need to run a comparator signal out of the back of this dropper like that, and then we'll fire that into a repeater that way. And what we can do is put a bit of redstone there, a bit of redstone there, another repeater here, and then one more bit of redstone like that. And what we do need is a block here. As you can see, that's technical. If I put that bit of redstone there, you should see it firing stuff out. So what we'll do is we'll break that for now, and we'll plug up these holes. Like so. I think I made a bigger hole in the back there. I did. There we go. So to make the water elevator, what we're going to do is dig down there and put a bit of soul sand at the bottom. All that's going to do is help all our items go flying up. So then if we jump upstairs, All we need to do is continue that pipe up to the top. Okay guys, so we've got that sorted. All I did was put in a bit of ice with a pressure plate on the top and another water stream running over. So as you can see, the items are flying in now and should be coming through. Let's take all the junk that's falling in it out. What have we got coming in? There we go, redstone's coming in just now. Spider's eyes, we've got some stick. Yep, plenty of stuff coming through. Nothing's up the top, so that's a good sign. Not even sure what we're getting. But as you can see, it is working, it is clearing through the stuff. So what we can probably do is we'll give a check it. Yeah. It's going to take a while to catch up with the backlog of stuff that's in these hoppers. So where did I put the pack? There it's there. So that's probably it. No, it's not too bad. What we will do is we will just throw them in there along with those and those and those should make their way through into here. Yep. Perfect. We'll just block that back up to keep it secure and yeah we can basically just let this run now. Well guys that's me finished with this and as you can see in more as the witches come in there goes the drops up into the sorting system along they go um, seems to be all working perfectly which is great so now I can get on and decorate this room which is going to be fun um, as always guys if you liked my video please drop a, a like down below uh, if you've got any suggestions questions or anything else please drop it in the comments and if you really love my content please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. Thank you and goodbye.